now your eyewitness weather forecast. Welcome back. We're checking in with Stefano for our forecast. Some of us might be seeing some snow, but nothing major. Just a couple of flakes. A couple of flakes here and there. Brief snow shower. That's really, if anything at all, in some spots. The cloud cover will be tough to break the entire day today. Temperatures, they're hanging out right around that freezing mark, but most areas are just above it. So that's why the road conditions, even if we see that snow shower, will be okay. Wilkesbury and Scranton, we're starting off at 36. Pottsville at 34. Sealands Grove at 37. Mount Pocono coming in right around 30. Let's just take a look at our radar. We'll take it out for just the, you know, area wide view so we can get a good view of the snow showers that are trying to drop in from New York near Ithaca, just to the north of Elmira and Binghamton. That little batch of snow is what we'll watch over the next couple of hours and elsewhere. As of right now, it's just a few isolated flurries, if not a snow shower. We'll take satellite and radar out for a little bit of a wider view. It's this little disturbance that's coming through the atmosphere that it's making things just unstable enough that we're getting these lake effect flurries and snow showers, but we're not really expecting any squalls as we go through the remainder of this morning. So it is a cold start in some of the higher elevations for the most part where we're dropping down to the upper 20s. Most areas are sitting right near that freezing mark and just a couple of flurries or snow shower for that morning commute. It's nothing that really causes any slow going this morning. Right around 40 today. That's where the high will be in our almanac. The average high for this time of year is right around 33. So we're still running decently above the average sunrise at 719. The overnight low tonight dropping to 28 above the average of 18 and the sunset is just after 510 this evening. There's that disturbance passing through and we end up with the flurries, if not a snow shower. Most of that is around for the first half of our day today by this evening and tonight we do get a nice break. But as cooler air keeps coming back in tomorrow, as of now the lakes are still not iced over. So what we're getting is some lake effect flurries and an isolated snow shower that we can't rule out tomorrow, but it really does look like just a cloudy day for the most part. But those clouds, they do break up. Midweek, we start to turn the corner. We'll get some good sunshine on Wednesday. It'll still be rather chilly, but seasonal for this time of year. Even going into Thursday, we'll keep that sunshine here. Another week disturbance tries to come through. That is really a non-issue, though, as we go through the end of this week. Right around 40 for the high today in your eyewitness weather forecast. We are mostly cloudy, a snow shower, mainly early, if not just a couple of flurries that'll be left over. 28 for the overnight low tonight, mostly cloudy and cold, and the wind will be at 5 to 10 miles per hour tonight. 38 tomorrow, mostly cloudy and an isolated snow shower that we're not ruling out. Wednesday, we start to get some sun back. That's with us through Thursday and Friday, so the second half of this week looks great. Saturday, Sunday, cloud covers back. There is a coastal storm we're keeping an eye on right now. It looks like we escaped that without any direct impacts. It's far enough off the coast at this point. However, things can still change over the next couple of days, so keep checking back for updates. And let's not forget about the Eyewitness Weather app. That can always be downloaded to our phones and tablets. The forecast always available at pahomepage.com. Now, it was a soggy, snowy weekend in some spots, and the good news is for this week, I mean, it's pretty quiet for the most part. That's nice. You can kind of have a nice sigh of relief because this time of year, of course, always anticipating maybe some sort of, uh, you know, big know. storm, and the next couple of days, we don't have to worry about that. I still that. haven't gotten my car washed, actually, so that really? needs to be done probably today or tomorrow. I would say the, the lines will probably be less because every day is kind of a good day to, to yes. do it, so mm -hmm. you got that going for you, yeah. which is good. <laughs> well,